everyone and welcome back to another fake Beyblade Burst unboxing video. It being part 2 of this Beyblade set. If you want to watch part 1, it's right in the description below. For this, we're going to start unboxing it. So, let's start. There's the stickers. Where's the other sticker? It's probably under this flimsy stadium. So, let's start with the handle, grip, and the launcher itself. For this, is you just need to take that off and get this and slide it in like a charm this also works as a hook if you have ways to hook it on your hands or something like that you can do it also by pulling on this see that pulling on that you can also remove it and probably shift it like this but I don't see a reason for you to actually do it maybe it's an extension thing yeah and this is the rip cord for this you just need to align it like so like this like that and just twist it and boom this is for right spin and this is for left spin it's pretty good it's not bad yeah you can use this it's pretty good this set really comes with very good parts like I said in the first video it's a really good starter pack so since, since we've already done Valkyrie let's start with Kree Satan get a closer look like so looking at the parts besides this having the wrong driver again it's I mean the wrong disc again all of it having the the glaive uh, what's this again glaive frame and the loop driver it's all good it's a very clear black plastic also the wheels they do work let me show you the combo for Kree Satan. Kree Satan was supposed to come with this, the two weight, along with the glaive. But as we can see, it's already got the glaive driver. So the only thing that it got wrong was the weight disc. But yeah, I guess this being a little heavier than the two driver, I can't really tell. I don't have a scale to compare it to, but yeah, this is what it came with. But it's still a viable weight. You can still use it. It's not obsolete or lacking weight. It's still usable. Although, this is very weak. You're not supposed to see this like this. It's very easy to shift so that's going to be a drawback also the main gimmick of creasing it's which are these wheels and now that i try to move them i realize that they're quite really difficult to spin they're not spinning at all it's stuck oh i can see it there's a piece of the plastic that's sticking you see that piece of plastic there moving? 
it's getting stuck to the sides that's why it's not spinning very well how about this yep it's spinning how about this it also spins freely well aside from this being not able to spin properly and having a bad mold I guess it still works you just have to buffer it out let's see the teeth they're good they're not great but oh actually they're kind of great you can see the ridges they're very deep it can really withstand a lot of attack along with its slanted walls of the bay blade also its circular design you see the side profile of it it's not very thick but it's a, I guess it's defensive there's a piece here where the plastic kind of doesn't doesn't look great the plastic isn't that molded properly it's got some holes there from it got cut off from the mold but yeah oh yeah this came of it too you can remove the the piece in the middle by twisting on it or just oh I actually locked it in let's remove it there we go actually I can't remove it it's pretty dick I can't remove it at all hold on oh there we are I took it off I think it, it's not coming out oh well I guess I'll try switching them out later yeah locking it like this and yeah along with this it goes Ooh! oh look at that it finally came off here I thought it didn't kind of looks cool without it though but let's try it later hold on let me just lock this in place I'll switch it up later I think it's for com it's more of a cosmetic thing so you see that's kind of bad this easily comes off when I remove it yep it's locked in place right Ooh, some nice clicks One, two, three, four. Oh, the last one was very hard to click. It can survive a lot of hits. I can tell you that. The loop driver is really resilient, huh? I just spun it for a little bit and it's still spinning. It wasn't even that strong. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Let's set aside the stickers first and let's review Valkyrie. Like I said before, we've already reviewed Valkyrie. Let me get rid of this plastic. But I'm going to review it again. This time from another, another brand. The first brand I review, reviewed it from is from SB, or S3, however you pronounce it. Ooh, the spring in this one is very strong. I like that. It's got the V. Hold on, it, the spring on it's pretty strong. It's got the V, it's slightly mis, misprinted. Yep, you can see it not being aligned with the mold, the paint. But the V on the middle... Yep, it's on point. Let me... Oh... Well then. Uh, this is bad. It didn't come with the right disc. It's also very hollow. Look at that. It's supposed to come with... Hold on, let me find it. This is the God Valkyrie that I got from the SB brand. And this is supposed to be the driver, which is 6. Vortex is fine. It came with Vortex. That's good. But the driver, I mean the disc is wrong. The driver so far is pretty accurate. It's got reboot. And it does work. 
yeah, it works. But yeah, it doesn't match. It's supposed to be six and vortex, but it's what is this? I forgot its name. N vortex. Whatever this is, it's not the right driver for Valkyrie. So that's kind of a letdown. I kind of expected it to have the correct combo because yeah. But I guess it's what the. I guess that's what we get when we buy fake brands instead of buying the original. You get let down. The eyes are pr painted yellow. You can't see it, but it's there. The bound gimmick is pretty good. Close up with the reboot driver. Yup. I can't say much really. I've already reviewed this. If you want to watch the original, I mean the. F if you want to watch the review of me doing the SB version of Valkyrie, it's in the it's in the description description below. So watch it. Well, I guess there's really not much to see besides putting on the stickers. Yeah, I put on the stickers and see you in a bit. And we're back. I've put on the stickers. This was a little doozy because I got mixed up with which st 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 stickers I should put on which. Also, the plastic was shifted on the thing of the sticker, but yeah. It looks great. Yep. Let's check out Valkyrie. Some pieces don't fit well, some do, some are larger than others, and some aren't just cut that properly. But all in all, it does look great, and it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Yep. Yeah. I guess all that's left is to battle then. Welcome back. It's time for us to battle Kree Satan and Valkyrie. Let's do it. Kree Satan first. First battle. Oh. The frame flew off. I'll fix that later. Hmm. Well, unlike the battle with Excalibur and uh, Spriggan, this one is kind of uneventful, to say the least. Maybe I should have chose a different matchup, like Spriggan versus Valkyrie or Excalibur versus Satan. Well, that's where it's led to. Click. I'm gonna use a faster launcher. Second round, we don't know shit. Alright. Oh. Finally getting movement from Valkyrie. The reboot driver not really attacking that much. It's kinda disappointing. Well. You know what? After this, I'm gonna match up Sane and Excalibur. Well, currently, seen with two points and Valkyrie with one point. So it's just gonna be a three part battle. Well, isn't this a little bit um, underwhelming compared to the last battle with Spriggan and Excalibur? Well, let's just finish this. Oh. I have also noticed that Reboot is not activating as well as it should. Hmm, maybe it's a little too tall, or Spriggan, I mean, Valkyrie is just not that heavy. Oh, that was a tie. Alright, next battle. I'm going to launch Spr 
Valkyrie a little higher so it'll push down the reboot driver a little further. Alright. Bring wing launch, something like that. Get him, Valkyrie. Stop circling on him. I guess, I guess the wheels really are helping Satan absorb these attacks. God dang. Oh, oh, oh. And Crescent 1. Well, I guess that's a war with Valkyrie and Satan. Let's battle Satan Excalibur. Let's go. A little update before we continue. So, off camera, I was battling Spriggan and Excalibur. And as you can see, Spriggan didn't really survive one of uh, Excalibur's hits. You could say that Ex uh, Excalibur is a little too powerful with his sword here. So you can see it's already gotten a little bit of damage during my off-camera battles. Maybe I was assuming it was hit with this since there's a little dent on it, but I'm not really sure. Hold on, let me... Yeah, I... yeah. But yeah, Spriggan got destroyed because of Excalibur, so I guess we won't be testing Spriggan versus these two for now. I'll check, I'll get to it that I fix them later, so don't worry about it. Crescent versus Excalibur, let's go. Round one. Oh, oh, oh! Excalibur with huge hits. Unrelenting attacks. But still, Crescent manages to survive the barrage of attacks from Excalibur. Round one goes Crescent. Round two. Oh. Excalibur charging up. Oh, 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 a knockout finish from Excalibur. Oh, it would have lasted one more attack. And so did Excalibur with it. It did activate. The things did align, though it's a little less if not aligned properly, but the ability of Excalibur did work. So yeah. Round three. Oh, Excalibur being more reserved, not attacking. Oh, you're not gonna attack, you're gonna lose. Sane really dodging these attacks. Oh, there we go. But it's really already too late. Yep. Sane's just got too much stamina. That's what you get when you don't attack. You lose immediately. This is the... Oh, wait. Sane already won. I got three points. Ah, let's have another battle. Last one. Come on. Ooh! A knockout finish. I'm going to see if I'm gonna get a burst. So, I'll, I'll just edit it in when it bursts. Oh, time for Valkyrie and Excalibur, I guess. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Burst finish. Burst finish. Come on. Come on. Oh, and it's a bring out finish. Well, looks like Excalibur won against Valkyrie. Well, yeah. I guess that's the end of this. Thank you for watching the last part of this two part series of unboxing this Beyblade set from Harbinger. Fake Beyblade set, I might add. So, last little warning, do buy the original ones and don't, if you really want to, you can buy the fake ones, but be careful with them. I'm just telling you to support the original creators that are Takaratomi and yeah, be careful with your fake Beyblades. So that's it, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.
Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Massive attacks, massive. But it still manages to withstand them. Surviving these attacks, dang. Oh wait, no. God dang it. Well. I just got hit in the eye. Sprit, um, Excalibur's driver just hit me in the eye. Oh my god, hold on. I'm gonna wear eye protection for now on. That scared the bejesus out of me. Cool transition. Wow. Come on, Excalibur. Hit him. Come on. Yes. Destroy Ex uh, Saint. Yeah, come on. Come on, Excalibur. Come on. Oh, it's just bad. Saint does, has this last lock in here. That, it's not a lock, but it has this really tough teeth in the end, so it just can't. 